what's up guys the day has finally come i'm going to show you every single nook and cranny of this uh tray and canopy from dirt box there's a lot going on here there's a lot of suspension work that's changed um if you guys uh, haven't seen my videos before i used to have a rear swing out uh, bumper system and a gfc camper fully built out so i've lived that life of the um kind of interior camper style like truck bed camper style and now I've transitioned to a flatbed tray and canopy. So it's wildly different in a million different ways. I'm probably gonna do a separate video on uh, comparing the two different systems. But anyway, we're gonna go through this entire thing, show you all the uh, upgrades and stuff. So this is the very first one for the Tacoma ever. Um, they have one on a Gladiator, but um, I've kind of partnered with them to showcase it on a Tacoma. Now the truck is fully in its final form as like an Australian build. So. I'm really excited to show you guys the suspension and everything we've got going on here. The first thing I want to talk about is suspension and then overall weight. So my previous setup, I was at 6,300 pounds. That's fully loaded, full tank of gas, everything like that. And uh, for everything I had, all things considering, I think that was actually a pretty good weight. Um, now I'm actually a little heavier. I am 67, 6,800 pounds all in. Um, this is with extra water and everything like that. So. Um, pros and cons, you know, give and take on the different weight there, but I've wheeled this, uh, you can tell by all these pinstripes here. Um, speaking of that video is going to be coming out soon after this video, but I had an awesome trip in the Ozarks with this and it does wheel a little bit differently. Um, but anyway, first I want to talk about this suspension. Now, if you want to come in here and we'll, I'll show you kind of what we did. This is a lot of new and different, uh, things. This is, um, a, a first on this. So we did the Archive Garage um, shock relocation kit. So previously the uh, the Dobison shock I had, you know, from the factory was here. And so we cut that off and relocated it here. So this is a, this is actually a temporary shock. So I've been working with Dobinsons uh, for a while and they're coming out with a brand new smoothie shock, much like this Fox and the King shocks. So I'll actually also be the first one to run their new shock. So I've I'm, I'm been waiting on that. So this is actually a 12 inch shock and what we have welded and everything in here is for a 14 inch shock uh, from Dobbinson. So as soon as I get that, we're gonna swap it out and then the rear will be completely finished. Um, so all we had to do to fit this, uh, the dirt box guys had to do to fit this was cut this little uh, liner of the tray. Now I didn't mess with the subframe or anything. So it's just a simple kind of cut and notch. So it clears, everything flexes great, it, it works awesome. And then we have the Trail Gear Hydro bump stops here, um, which will be adjusted after I get that 14 in there. Um, but overall it rides great. I'm still on the Dobinson 112 leaf springs. Um, it handles the weight great so far. So yeah, that's pretty much for the rear suspension. It feels really good. It, it definitely droops way more. Um, but yeah, keep in mind, everything's welded for a 14 and this is a 12 right now. So I'll get that additional two inches later. So let's talk about the actual flatbed. So if you've never seen these before, what this does is it allows you to have a actual flatbed truck, like a farm truck, or you can run the camper box on top. Um, Dirtbox actually makes a couple different lengths as well, but this is their full length. So to take this off, it's actually really simple. All you do is take these uh, bolts out here. There's four of these little L brackets and you do a couple Anderson connections uh, up in the headache rack for the electrical. And um, their box is actually working on some little poles that you put here, much like an old style drop-in uh, truck bed camper. You put it on poles and you jack it up and you drive out from under it. So basically this uh, little shelf here, from here all the way to the headache rack and up, all of that comes off and you have a total flatbed so you can like actually use your truck as a truck so that's pretty cool i think i have some photos of it i'll put it in the screen uh now of what it looks like with a flatbed but um the plan is in the summertime you know like hard wheeling and stuff i'll probably take this off and just kind of change it up that's the cool thing you get with the flatbed train canopy um, all right, now we'll walk around we'll start opening up everything this is where it gets super awesome so the coolest thing you get with the flatbed is storage um, where you didn't otherwise with the factory bed. So your gear actually has a home everywhere in every single place. Um, and your weight is distributed, distributed differently and all that kind of stuff. So this is 
the um, air compressor area. So I do want to say it does look dirty in here and that's because I have a gaping hole back here. Um, I'm not finished plumbing some of this wiring for the, uh, for the water storage and stuff. So that's why it's dirty. Otherwise, the seals do a great job. And this does have a 24 gallon water tank in the middle, um, right between the axles. So your weight is nice and down low. But anyway, this is the faster flight system I had in the previous setup. And so I have it all plumbed. I have one chuck on this side, I have another chuck on the other side. So I can just put a two way air hose on both sides and air up the tires. Um, pretty cool. And then I also have some like water hoses here. This goes in my um, Sandy Cats DIY shower back there in the, in the jerry can. And um, yeah, like I said, this is not plumbed up yet, but this is the water for the actual water tank in the truck. And that comes with the dirt box flatbed. That's that side. And then I'll show you back here real quick what we got going on in the rear. So this is a total blank canvas. Um, you can run two spares, you can run no spare and a bunch of gear, you can do all kinds of stuff. Um, what I've done is I've put our Backwoods uh, dual jerry can holder here and the Expedition Essentials propane mount. And I have a max tie down um, chainsaw scabbard that I had on my last setup. So my steel chainsaw fits right here perfectly. Um, just like all Tetris together, everything is accessible. Um, this is some more water and gas. And then this right here is awesome. One of my favorite parts of the whole system. This is the pull-out drawer. So this is basically my garage. So this is uh, all my tools, my spare stuff. Um, got a, a jack, I got all these tools right here. This is from Deck. they're Boxo uh, collab. So a bunch of awesome tools here, ready to go, everything has it's home, it's nice and neat. Um, Toyota specific stuff. So that fits in there. And you guys saw all the scratches and everything. I put this thing through its paces and it is perfectly clean in here. Um, I was pretty surprised to see like, there is no dirt or water at all. Very cool. So underneath this, we have the factory um, camera here, the uh, reverse camera. And then if you can see up in here, this is a custom welded hitch. So it really stiffens the rear frame because these frames on the Tacomas flex a lot. So that was done by Dirtbox. They, they may start offering these, we're not sure yet, but it's got awesome recovery points and everything. So um, it tows my trailer just fine and, and all that. So that uh, was a good thing to add to the rear. And then the last box on this side I'll show you is my recovery area. So this is where I have um, my kinetic rope, my soft shackles, my tree saver, extra ropes and stuff like that. I do have a new kinetic rope from Sandy Cats that I'm super pumped to try, I got that in there. And then right here is my other air chuck. So I have air running on both sides. So I can just hook a two-way air hose here and uh, do all four tires. Um, okay, now, oh, one more thing is here's the water fill. So there is, um, this is where you put your water for the 24 gallons. It is pressurized on a switch and everything in there. And then the other side is just the factory gas tank fill. So I'll open this side and then we'll go and open the other side over there. All right, here is the other side. All right, so first of all, this is laid out very strategically and in a way that makes everything um, the most efficient and accessible. So this entire side, the driver's side, is the kitchen galley. That's also why the awning is on this side. It's a 270 awning from Dirtbox. We'll open that a little bit later. But it's got integrated lights. Um, it's a freestanding awning, and it's just awesome. I, I'll show you in a second. So what we have here is a drop-down kitchenette. This is made by Dirtbox. Uh, so is the slide, the drop-down. This fridge slide is also made from Dirtbox. Um, so again, yeah, this side is, is the business end, basically, where you're making food, where you're hunkering down um, from weather and stuff like that. 
So this is a drop down uh, kitchenette. So, well, I'll show you here. This is a little peephole. So this is, if you don't want to do the whole drop down um, thing, you can just open this door here and you can come in here and get your coffee or your cups um, or whatever. So that's pretty cool to have that little door. <laughs> waiting for that bug. All right, so to deploy the drop down kitchenette, Put these uh, fridge locks, you depress these, pull it out all the way. And then this drops down. So the cool thing about a drop down versus a tilt is, you know, obviously a tilt is at an angle, but a drop down is nice and level and you can actually get to it. And then you'll push this latch, open this thing up. And then you have a nice work surface area for cooking and preparation. You also have a really cool uh, cutout for this little sink I'll show you. Um, also, the Jetboil Genesis happens to perfectly fit in here. So you don't have to, you know, it's one less step. You don't have to open that up. So you can kind of keep it in here. This slides out of the way. And down in here is where all of the pots and pans and, you know, anything you need, your spices, all that kind of stuff is right here, ready to go. And then this is the little sink basin thing that goes right in there drops in there so when you're cooking everything is just right there in front of you all while being covered by the awning and then also while you're cooking the fridge is on this slide or this side so you can get to it um, for your ingredients and things like that so to open it you just pull back and it's also it's on a tilting slide so it tilts and hangs out right there and you can get to everything you need to all at once. Pretty freaking cool. This is probably the coolest part of the interior of the, the canopy. I will break this back down. I'm gonna show you what this, um, the power panel inside looks like. Now for power management, I'm running a, uh, a dual purpose lithium battery under the engine bay, it's 100 amp hours and it does it powers everything i need to it's also my start battery so it's one battery that does absolutely everything for the truck and this little power system in the back is just to distribute that power God. bugs are crazy all right so i'll fold this back up Lift it up All right, so while I was showing you guys the fridge slide, I totally forgot to show you a really cool product um, from actually a local company. So I did a video in the past on Sport Keg. So they are basically a self-contained keg, a beer keg, um, that you can take at camp. And it's CO2 and it's just awesome. You can fill uh, your beer up at your local brewery and take it in your Dometic cooler. You can take it in a regular cooler. The form factor and size of these little kegs is, is really cool. And it eliminates bottles and, and waste and all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of his mission. He's got a new product um, basically for margaritas. So it's a thinner uh, profile and it's just kind of tall and skinny. They actually have another size in there that's about half this size if you want to do like kind of a personal thing. But uh, these fit perfectly. Like I said, this is a Dometic 45. It fits in there great. It fits in a lot of fridges. And there's a bunch of little attachments that I'll show you real quick in here. So this is the smaller one, but uh, it comes in this, if you don't even have a, a fridge or a cooler or anything, it comes in this really cool uh, bag, which I just zipped it. But there's CO2 in here. There is all the uh, regulator components, the hoses, the whole nine yards, a bunch of extra seals, all that stuff. This is the shorter, smaller one. So if you want something kind of more for yourself, like I said, this will fit pretty much anywhere. So um, fresh margaritas, beer, whatever at camp. And then right here, if you see this little ice pack thing, uh, you can freeze this at home before your trip and it'll keep your stuff cool if you don't have a fridge or cooler. Um, so this is really cool. You guys really got to check this out. It's Sport Keg. Um, I'll put the link in the description and all that. But again, this one, the newer one he's trying to push is kind of more for margaritas. So who doesn't like a margarita at camp? So check that out. Um, like I said, I've used them for beer, like the, the bigger, fatter ones, but um, really, really cool product. And probably my favorite thing is the form factor um, besides having fresh 
um, alcohol it can. So check him out. He's got good stuff. So this little panel is for power distribution. So you turn this master switch on, which is cool to have a, a master switch. And this is your canopy lights. So if you look at these lights up here, they're touchable and dimmable. So if I put my thumb here, you can dim them just right so they're not annoying at night. Um, I also will probably do a video, a quick video to show you what this looks like at night because it's awesome. It's like daytime out here. But um, anyway, yeah, that's the, that's the panel there. It's all ran from an Anderson and it's super simple to hook up new stuff or, or whatever. I also have my water level right here for my um, water tank, um, extra fuses, um, extra 12 volt right here. So pretty, pretty awesome, pretty accessible. You know, I got switches to put anything else. And then while we're in here, there's also an optional little Molly panel shelf you can get. So I've put an Expedition Essentials paper towel holder on there. I put my sleeping bag up there. Just gets stuff kind of up and out of the way. That's pretty much this side. Um, we'll go to the other side and show you that. All right, so this side, I have it configured with this little divider right here. Um, and then they also make this drawer right here with an extra little top shelf thing. So what I have going on here is extra power. So these are the EcoFlow River Pros I've been using for, I don't know, a year or two now. This is just for extra stuff like phones or lanterns or, uh, you know, whatever. So I've got those in here. I have my ladder for my, to get into my tent strapped right here. That's the cool thing also is there's extrusion everywhere. So you can mount all kinds of stuff wherever you want to. And this, this thing's a little Molly panel. So I have like on this side, I have the uh, H3R Performance um, fire extinguisher right here, nice and handy. And I have Molly bags with lights and all that kind of stuff. On this side of the Molly panel, I have uh, a little tent stake thing, a little hammer thing. I, um, if my uh, awning's going crazy in the wind or whatever, I can just stake it down with this thing. Then just some extra bags, you know, um, this is my trash. So I keep my trash in here with extra trash bags, soap for washing my hands, some oil for the chainsaw, um, chainsaw related items in there. Hammock over here, um, extra blanket. This is my Helinox chair. So everything has a home and I know where it's at all the time. And also this is everything you see in here is everything I had in my GFC setup, which I thought was a lot of stuff, but you can clearly see there's a lot more room for more stuff. And then real quick, I want to talk about this bag. This is from a company in Australia called Unplug. And it is an over the top, completely waterproof, weatherproof, everything bag. That goes with my Australian theme, obviously, but there's uh, several different sizes and colors of these. Um, I use it for my clothes bag and my toiletries and stuff like that. That way I have a dedicated bag always in here for stuff. And if you're interested in this, I decided to not do any commission. That way I can get you guys more of a discount. So this is actually 20% off on their website um, now to the end of the year if you want to do that. I think the code is ARC Offroad if you'd like to purchase one of these or check them out. Anyway, awesome. Can't recommend it enough. Um, another thing on these doors, which is cool, if you look and see here, there's these little kind of holes spaced out. So this allows you to open the door differently at different heights. So on the other side, I have it lower because the other side has my awning. So my door on that side is like this and my door on this side is like that kind of. So they thought of, thought of a lot of flexibility here. Oh, I guess I'll open this too. And another random thing I don't think I said at the beginning, as far as weight, the flatbed itself with the water tank and the boxes and everything is 505 pounds. It's all aluminum. And there's a little bit of steel in there for like the subframe, but 505 pounds basically is not terrible for the entire thing. I don't know what the box weighs. I have to get that from them. But anyway, this pulls out and it's got this awesome little chest high work area. That way you can have stuff right here. You can prepare food. You can make your coffee, whatever on this side if you want. And then again, this drawer here is lined with carpet, just like all of them. 
So just storage everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. This little thing, I keep all my cords and chargers and stuff like that in here. I have a first aid kit from Outer Limit Supply in this Pelican case. I also have this um, propane fire pit in here from Ignic. It's just a nice, honestly like a two person max fire, but uh, it's, it's pretty efficient and it's pretty fun to have at camp. So that closes back up. And again, these little drawer slides, just push it right back in. And everything is so solid on this truck. Like there's no rattles, there's nothing. It's pretty freaking cool. All right, the last thing I'm gonna touch on real quick uh, before we get into the, the rooftop tent and the awning. This is extremely high clearance. Like, like look at this angle. It's insane. Um, it's basically to the height of my 35 inch tire here. And I have yet to even come close to touching this. And I've almost flopped this thing on the rear, kind of leaning back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And, uh, you know, plenty of area there. Also, the uh, factory Tacoma bedside plus my rear swing out, I was probably sticking out an extra foot from you know the back of the tire to the, the edge of my spare tire on my swing out bumper. So you're also getting a little bit shorter um, with this system too. These are just temporary DIY mud flaps. Turbox is coming out with them. They're gonna send me some of those um, if you're wondering if this is what they are. So let's uh, go ahead and I'll show you the rooftop tent and how I have things situated up there. All right, so I'm gonna get the ladder out and show you guys what we have going on. So, What's really cool and unique about this is I actually have the, the tent flipped the other way. And when I've been at shows and everything, everyone's like, why is your tent upside down or backwards? And this is why, it's awesome. So Dirtbox kind of recommended this in their setup. And so the reason is you can keep everything open in the back so you can get to every drawer and everything um, your 270 doesn't have to come down. Um, so you can actually use your roof rack as a porch. So what I've done is I've put a bunch of extrusions here that I can walk on there and it's basically a floor and I get in and out of the tent this way. So this is, this tent's actually keyed, it's locked. So let me go grab the key and we'll get up there. All right, so this just comes up like this. And as you can see, this is like the porch area. So I can just sit here chill out, hang out on the roof rack. It's just a nice area. That way I, I have access to everything, like I said. The only thing blocking this is my ladder, which comes up on the passenger front door. So I don't really use that at all while I'm camping. So um, this tent also is a Dirtbox branded tent. So not only can you buy the flatbed and canopy from Dirtbox, you can get this awning, you can get the drop down kitchen. They have a bunch of uh, other accessories as well. Just set up these poles. And that's basically the setup. So you can chill right here, drink your morning coffee, whatever. And uh, I just think it's super cool and different having your tent flipped. And at first when Dirtbox recommended that, I was like, I don't, that doesn't seem right, but I get it now. This is very, very cool to have it this way. All right, now I'm gonna show you a tour of the 270 awning. And I'm just gonna do this without doing any editing because I want you to see like a realistic real time how long this takes to open and set up, which isn't long at all. Um, I'm not going for records of speed or anything, but just these three straps, just like most other awnings you see. And I will put some pictures of this awning of what it looks like at night, because it's so cool. So this comes around. on that and then there's a little pole in the middle to make the rain go away but that's pretty much it there are poles on each leg here if you want to put those down and like i said these are uh lights in here they're recessed 
pretty awesome. It throws a lot of uh, light. I think they are color changeable, but these don't. These specific ones are just white. But here's the cords here. So they give you this cord and you plug it in for all the three different lights here on the, uh, on the awning. And you just run the cord here to, I'll just show you. You run the cords this way, they plug in and you snake it to this little cigarette lighter here. And it's just awesome. But again, I'll put some pictures. Dude, these bees are crazy. I'll put some pictures on over the screen to show you what it looks like at night because it's, it's really cool. One of my favorite parts at night is actually putting the awning up just for the light. But uh, that's basically the awning. Oh, I'll show you over here how it uh, connects. So there's just a little like cam strap basically right here that you pull tight and it's just on the extrusion here. There's like a little um, circle that it just kind of clips onto and uh, it stays secure. So that's pretty much it with the awning. Let me take this tiny thing down first. But uh, yeah, the awning is awesome. Again, you obviously don't have to have a, a canopy or flatbed to have one of these awnings if you want. If you're in the market, I would check it out because I've never seen any kind of lighting like this before. But it folds up just like any other regular awning. Bag goes over the top. roll this canvas you gotta find these straps oh it also has this little bag here which is cool you can put your cords or whatever you want to in there keep it safe dude these bees like how are there bees out i don't understand over here. And that's it. It's actually really simple. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Or as much as I can think of right now, I'm actually positive I forgot a bunch of things in here, but. That's what the comment section is for. If you have any questions at all, um, drop them down in the comments. I will try to go through those and answer. Um, I will say I do have a discount code with these guys. Um, it'll save you $500 on a flatbed tray or canopy system. And then I have a 15% off code for any accessory. So that goes for the awning, that goes for the kitchen, all that kind of stuff. That'll be in the description as well. So hopefully that'll save you guys some money if you're interested in these products. But so far I've been a fan. I love this setup. It's completely new and different and uh just looks cool going down the road and um at camp so appreciate you guys watching thanks so much and uh have a good one